So the last time I put up one of these Robin on the road videos, which is indeed the first one, uh, I was in Washington, D.C. Um, <laughs> but America is a big place. And uh, now I'm in a very different part of the States. I'm standing here at the famous Franklin's barbecue that some people say is the best barbecue brisket in the world. And if the line is anything to go by, it probably is. So let's walk down the line. Now, people have been sitting here. Let's see. People have been sitting here since six or seven in the morning. And this line just goes on and on. And now I like my meat. And I gotta say, I do think this line, it's a tribute to capitalism, right? Do you know the principle of subjective value? And then it's like some people want the money more than the brisket. That's only true for the people that actually make the brisket. The rest of us want the brisket a lot more than we want the money, right? That's the principle of subjective value. So, we want the brisket so much more than we want the money that uh, my friend Paul Addis, who's also my engagement director, and I have come down here to Austin, Texas for what might be the best taste of America. Now, Austin never got the memo about it being October because it's humid as Hades here. And uh, I don't know, I can't handle that because I'm a limey Brit. But I am very, very excited to uh, start stuffing my face with this brisket. Now, Paul, my friend, a wonderful guy, got here before I did, saved two seats at the front of the line, has already put my order in for the brisket. Now they do other stuff, I think it's like the pork, the pork and the sausage and all that. But the brisket is to die for and I love my brisket. Love it. I'm a carnival. Um, and since I just got back from England where I was actually with my dear mother, the bar is set high because my mother made a steak and kidney pudding. Now that doesn't mean what it, uh, pudding doesn't mean what Americans think it means, right? The British meaning the pudding is something completely different. Uh, basically, it means uh, a bunch of suet, suet pastry, a pie, you know, that suet pastry stuffed with goodies. In this case, steak and kidney and gravy. Most Americans go, ugh, when you say kidney. But uh, the steak and kidney pudding that my mother made me just a week or two ago was awesome. So I'm here in Texas to see if America can beat steak and kidney with beef brisket. And I can't wait. We've got about another 50 minutes of waiting right here got my seat here pretty near close to, pretty close to the front of the line thanks to paul and uh i'm excited it's gonna be good so yeah from politics to food there's no doubt back to politics actually i will be back to politics soon uh today we after this after stuffing ourselves we drive down to dallas uh three or four hours away and i will be speaking to the daughters of the american revolution on um on the relationship between Magna Carta and the Constitution. Yeah, so that'd be good. And if you're interested in that subjective value stuff, by the way, the most important element, as far as I'm concerned, of Austrian economics, check out my book, If You Can Keep It, chapter four. I've got a whole, uh, whole chapter on uh, the monetary system and uh, I've done something I think's never been done in a popular book before, which is set Austrian economics up next to modern monetary theory. If you don't know what that means, you definitely have to buy the book. All right. Uh, I'm going to go and eat some brisket. Have a good day, guys. Bye.